From the discussions of the previous module, we know what a Bayesian game is. This is essentially given, given by this uh, tuple where you have the players, you have the type sets for each of these players. There is a common prior with which the whole type profile is chosen. And uh, uh, for each type profile, uh, lowercase theta, there is a, a, a normal form game given by gamma of theta. Now with all this, now we, we are going to look at what are the different strategies uh, in, in, this, uh, in this game and uh, we will also see some examples uh, to understand how these strategies are being used. Uh, remember that Bayesian game is a somewhat extension of the normal form game uh, with the thing that it, uh, it chooses different kinds of normal form games given the type profile. So the strategy uh, both pure and mixed has the very similar structure, similar definition. Uh, just the difference being that now it is a mapping from this type set to the set of actions for pure strategies. So if you are uh, having a specific uh, type player I has a specific type, then the strategy uh, corresponding to that type is a specific action in that set. So this is what we are going to uh, uh, call as the strategy in the Bayesian game setting and it will be written as SI of theta I. Similarly, the mixed strategy will be uh, a probability distribution over the same action set AI for that particular theta I. So sigma I theta I is the mixed strategy. Uh, when the type of player i is uh, theta i and that that is living in the simplex so the simplex is nothing but the the, the collection of all probability distributions over the elements of uh, capital ai now uh, we'll use the following two terms uh, actually we'll be using three terms and um, that that term is essentially uh, is showing that how a player experiences its utility in multiple stages. So um, in game theory, uh, typically all these terms of uh, when a player experiences its utility uh, is uh, denoted by the, uh, this Latin names. So ex ante is somewhat, uh, so let's say uh, the nature is actually choosing theta of i for player i, right? That is according to the definition of Bayesian game. This common prior realizes this theta i. Now before uh, this theta i has realized, player i can take a decision and that decision is called the ex ante decision. So if it is, if you are trying to calculate what is the utility, uh, if you are taking an action, um, all these things are called the ex ante utility or ex ante action. I am just defining the, the terminology in this case. So now that you have realized, so theta i and a player i knows what this theta i is but it does not know what theta minus i is are. so theta minus i not known in that situation what we call that as x interim so interim because you uh, you can see your own type but you do not know others types there is a third stage after you have realized your theta i, you know your theta i and theta minus i is also known. So maybe it's at the end of the game when all, everyone has their types realized and you have also seen everyone's type, then what is, uh, then the, those situations or those um, utilities and the actions are called exposed. So exposed utilities or exposed um, uh, actions. So far that we have discussed, uh, the, the, the kind of situations are actually exposed situations because we are assuming that there is uh, no uncertainty with these types. So you already know what types uh, of the players uh, other players are. So in this Bayesian game setting, if you want to look at uh, the, the classical game setting that we have discussed so far, the classical normal form games, it is an exposed situation where types have been realized and everybody knows it, the type becomes a common knowledge for all these players then whatever uh, you can guarantee Nash equilibrium and all those concepts that those are exposed. So we have already discussed this. So here we'll be interested only in this ex interim and the ex ante uh, situations. So what is an ex ante utility? 
So this is remember that it, it, it is the expected utility for a specific player even before observing its own type. It does not know what its own theta i is. Therefore, it will have to take an expectation with respect to this common prior. So uh, it uh, does not know what uh, realization theta i has happened, uh, of theta i has happened, but it certainly knows what is the probability with which it, it can be picked. So it actually knows the common prior. That is a common knowledge. So therefore, uh, it can look at the utility, the mixed strategy for all the players. So uh, theta, uh, sigma of theta is nothing but a shorthand notation of sigma i theta i. So sigma 1 theta 1, let's say, sigma 2 theta 2, and so on, sigma n theta n. This whole vector, we, we have uh, uh, used, it, used this short, shorthand to uh, denote that. And of course, this is at a, a specific theta. So the type profile is given by the theta. Now, uh, the player does not know it. In fact, player 1 does not know any component of it deterministically. It can only uh, take an expectation with respect to that. So the utility of player i, uh, when uh, it is expected over that p theta, and that is given by this ui of sigma. So this is the ex ante utility of that player. And if you want to expand that out, this is just uh, doing the same thing. So this is the uh, the, the product because all these uh, uh, decisions, all these uh, actions were taken independently by each of these players. This will uh, come out as a product. You take the corresponding utility for those actions and that uh, type profile. Yeah, you uh, first take the summation over all the actions and then you also take the expectation with respect to the thetas because the thetas has not realized yet. So this is the ex ante utility for player i. Now um, the uh, once you are in the ex interim state that is you have observed your own type but you haven't observed others types what you can do uh, because you have a common prior you can somewhat guess what the other players types could be. In some sense we can compute this posterior uh, distribution according to the Bayes rule uh, which says that what is the probability that uh, the other players are going to choose theta minus i given my own type is theta i which is deterministically known to me. Now here you can see that in order to define this posterior we need that the denominator is positive and that is the reason why uh, we needed the positive marginal assumption uh, to be very crucial. Now, uh, the x interim utility is very simple to define. Uh, now, the, the difference is that uh, player i knows its own type. Uh, therefore, it can take the posterior distribution, it can take the expectation with respect to that posterior distribution uh, of all the other players types. So here, at least one component is now known, the other components are un unknown and therefore it is taking the expectation with respect to that. So the left hand side is essentially the x interim utility just to make sure that this utility the left hand side is nothing but ui of uh, sigma i theta i because this is deterministically known for all the other players so it is sigma minus i theta minus i uh, it is actually not a it is not a function of theta minus i because um, it has been already expected over so it is definitely a function of theta i because that is that is perfectly known to player i so uh, at some point later we will use this fact that it is, uh, it, is a, uh, it is a function of theta i and that theta i is deterministically known to player 1. So this is, this is the uh, left hand side here. So uh, now let us look at the, the relationship between these two utilities. So of course uh, the x interim state is more um, uh, giving more information to this player. So if you take the expectation with respect to p of theta i for player i over the uh, so this uh, this term inside is nothing but the x interim utility. Uh, take the expectation with respect to p theta i what you will get is the x ante utility. Let us look at a few examples to understand what what this means. So suppose we have uh, the first example is that you have two players uh, who are bargaining over a sale of a single indivisible item. Let's say you are trying to buy uh, an item and there is one uh, player who is a seller. Uh, its type is given by the price at which this player is willing to sell. So uh, let's say that price is the minimum price 
uh, below which it, it won't be able to sell is something like the cost price or the purchase price. The other one is the, uh, the other player is the buyer. Its type is the price, the maximum price at which it is willing to buy. Uh, if the, the, uh, the seller asks for a larger price, then it, uh, the buyer won't be able to uh, buy it. So for simplicity, let us assume that uh, the type of all these players, so type set uh, for both these players uh, is a set of integers from 1 to 100. And uh, similarly, the, uh, their action sets are also the same set, uh, which we are going to call their bits. So they can have a specific uh, type. So their type, so as we said, the type is the price. So for seller, it is the minimum price at which it can sell. For buyer, it is the maximum price at which it can buy. And uh, they can actually report this, but reported uh, bids could be could be some something different. And we know that this is uh, from experience that uh, if the bid of the seller is smaller than or equal to that of the buyer, then the trade will happen uh, at a price. And let us assume that the trade happens at the price average of these two bids. Let's say the seller is saying i i'm happy to get uh, the uh, happy to sell this object at any price greater than or equal to 10 and the uh, uh, buyer says that i'm willing to buy um, uh, um, it any at any price less than or equal to 20 20 rupees then the trade will happen at 15 rupees that's the assumption here uh, if uh, the other thing happens, if the seller says, I won't sell it uh, below 25 rupees and the buyer says what it was saying, 20 rupees and less, then the trade will not happen. That we know. So suppose the type generation in this case is independent and uniform over theta 1 and theta 2. So uh, it means that if you are looking at the, uh, the probability distribution of theta 2, given theta i, it is just the unconditional probability theta 1. Two, which is 1 over 100 because there are 100 such entries here and uh, it is picked uniformly at random. Similarly for p, p of theta 1 it is 1 over 100. Now the utility you can you can see it uh, very clearly if player 1 is choosing the action a1 and player 2 is choosing this action a2 then the trade will happen only if uh, assuming that the the second player is the buyer and the first player is the seller uh, the trade will only happen if a2 is greater than or equal to a1 otherwise the trade will not happen and every both these agents will get uh, a zero utility so for player one who is the seller uh, uh, theta one is its cost price and the, um, uh, the item is getting sold at this price which is the average of these two numbers the difference is essentially its utility similarly for the buyer uh, theta two is the value that it gets whenever it, uh, it purchases that item and it uh, purchases it at uh, this price so that this difference is the net utility for that player and in this case the common pride is given by uh, so this theta 1 theta 2 is nothing but the the uh, the marginal so uh, is a project product of the marginals p theta 1 theta 2 because we have assumed this to be independent and that is 1 by 10,000 So let us look at the second um, example here. The, the second example is that of a sealed bid auction. So the uh, setting is almost similar. There are two players and they are both willing to buy an object. Now this is not a seller and buyer. Both of these players are essentially buyers uh, and there is some uh, auction going on. There is an auctioneer who is uh, selling this object. It's not a player. This auctioneer is not part of the game. So these two players can uh, can uh, report I mean they have their values uh, and their bits which is living in this interval 0 to 1 so you can normalize the whole space and say that they, they can pick any real number between 0 and 1 as their values and their uh, bits are also the same now the allocation function is such that so here is the deal so this is uh, uh, this is saying that uh, the first player is going to be the winner uh, if its bid is at least as much as the second player's bid. So uh, this is the case where the tie is broken in favor of player 1. Uh, so this O of 1 is nothing but the winner function. So uh, uh, the indicator function that player 1 is going to be the winner. It becomes a winner if B1 is uh, greater than or equal to B2. Otherwise it loses. If it loses, then player 2 becomes the winner. Now you can think of the uh, the, uh, the beliefs, the Bayesian belief in this case. Uh, 
is uh, coming from the common prior distribution where it is uniform over all theta 1 theta 2 so theta 1 theta 2 is living in this uh, two dimensional uh, square 0 1 square and uh, that is giving rise to this uh, uh, posterior uh, distribution of uh, theta 2 given theta 1 and similarly for theta 1 given theta 2 the utility is essentially given by uh, uh, this expression so player 1 is choosing the bid of b1 player 2 is choosing b2 and if their types are such then if a player wins so here is the uh, assumption that if a player wins then it gets that item but it pays its own bid so let's say winner pays its bid uh, in that case uh, whatever it has bid bi is going to be there exactly the payment uh, and it values that item as theta i so this difference is the net utility when he, it wins and this is just the indicator function that it wins or not if it wins then it gets this otherwise it gets zero so in some uh, uh, in the literature we will see that this kind of an auction where you are paying your own bid is known as the first price auction first price sale bid auction we'll uh, analyze this uh, this game much uh, in in further detail later uh, later in the next module and also later in the in the course uh, but this is this is what the game is and here is the bayesian game representation of the that uh, first price auction